Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Sparks. I sure had a great day with you at our technology camp. We made some straw rockets together. We had some pieces left over, so I want to make one more just in case you forget exactly how to do it. Last time, we made, oh, where is it? We made these short ones together. Let's make one of the long ones because we did cut it out last time. So if you've got this one, just follow along with me. I'm going to go nice and quickly. If I'm going too fast, that's okay. This is a video and you can stop, rewind, and check it out again. So we're going to start with this one right here. With this one, we're going to make sure it's facing us. So I can read the letter A and the rocket is far away. We're going to fold over a line just about as big as one of these gray squares. So fold over a line all the way along and fold it down. You see? Just like that. Nice little fold. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to turn it over. I want to make sure that rocket stays far away from me. Before we start rolling, we need to prepare some tape. This time, we need 11 pieces of short tape about as big as two fingers so take your tape measure out two fingers and we're going to put those on the side of the table let's prepare 11 pieces one two three four five six seven They're a little bit longer, that's okay. Eight, nine, 10. Oh, I'm out. You know what? I got 10 pieces and I just ran out of tape. That's okay. I still have some tape in my box, just like the ones you guys have. Except I didn't make this one nice. I always take yours and put them out really nice. Ugh, give me the tape. There we go. All right, that's number 10, and I need one more is my number 11. 11. 11 short pieces of tape. You're going to need two long pieces of tape, about half as long as this piece of paper. So measure out two long pieces of tape and put those onto the table as well. One long, two long pieces of tape. All right, our tape is ready, so we're ready to start rolling our rocket. For this one, we're gonna use your straight straw. Put it next to that fold. Remember, you wanna have the rocket far away from you and the part that you folded close to you. Take it and roll it around. You wanna remember, don't make it too tight. We wanna make sure that straw can come in and out. It's a little bit harder because this straw is just about as long as the paper. So get that so it's going in and out easily. And then start at the top, take one piece of tape and tape it around. Don't make it really tight, just hold it in place. Make sure that it can still go in and out. Yeah, that's good. Now, how about the other side? Look at that. It's kind of come loose a little bit. So I'm going to give it another little roll. I don't want to see the checker, the boxes inside. Let's see, is that, oh, that's good. It still falls out, so that should be loose enough. Take another piece of short tape and just hold it down in place. Don't make it too tight. The middle still needs a little more help. Look at that. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna put it down in the middle, not making it too tight. Good. Now I have three pieces of tape on this end, on this end, and in the middle, and my straw can still come out nicely. We need to seal up this edge. Look at that, the air can come out of there. So let's seal up this edge with our long pieces of tape. I'm gonna start right at the end and put it on just the one side. Just on one side, you see, it's still sticking up in the air right over there. And when that tape is all the way down, then I can start to just kind of roll it over and seal it off so the air can't get out. 
check my straw. Oh yeah, it still comes out. This side is done. Now I need to do this side exactly the same way. Take your piece of tape, start at the end, and lay it down. You see it there? Now take it and wrap it over. Check my straw. Oh yeah, it still comes out nicely. Now the end still has a big hole in it. We need to seal that up. So what we're gonna do is take the side with the rocket, that's Starship right there. We're gonna pinch it, pinch it at the end. There's many different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the same way that we did before. Pinch it at the end, take another piece of short tape and put it right on the end of there. Now, it kind of looks like a paintbrush, right? An invisible paintbrush, I'm painting you. Take that and fold it over nice and tight. We're gonna try to keep that air from getting out of the end. Let's wrap one more around here to make it really strong. More piece of tape, put it on here and wrap it all the way around. That's what it should look like. You wanna make sure it's airtight, so take it and blow on it. If no air is coming out, it's ready to go. If you blow on it and you feel some air coming out, Oh, there's air coming out here. That means you have a hole and you need to put some more tape on it. So find where the air is leaking out and take some extra tape. Hmm, right here. And put that tape over and seal it up so the air can't get out. All right. This part of our rocket is done. Now, we had these left over from last time. So we're going to learn how to do these. These are the other kinds of fins. Last time we did our, oh, we didn't do those. Which ones did we do? We did these fins last time, right? We're gonna change this one around and use these fins and see how they work. There's lots of different fins you can use. You can even make your own. I hope you do. Try making your own designs and see how they work. Let's try these. You can see there's a dotted line on it. So I want to fold these along the dotted line. I'm gonna fold it, see? And then fold it back so it makes an L shape. Let's do that with three of them. You have four, but this rocket's pretty small. We only need to use three of them on it. Let's fold those all over. Fold it on the green line and fold it back to make an L. Fold it on the green line and fold it back to make an L. There, you should have three L's like this. Let's find out how to put these on. It has a very short side right there. So we're gonna take one short piece of tape and we're gonna put it on the short side. It might take a couple of tries. But in the end, it looks like that. It's on the short side right there. Well, let me get it just right. Good. Now that you have this ready, let's take it down and put it on the bottom. Remember, you don't want your tape to go past the bottom. We don't want to stick it to the straw. So we're going to put that on there and tape it down. It's kind of loose, it's not very good. That means we have to tape the other side as well. Get another piece of tape. And what we're gonna do is fold this one over along that fold that we made before. We're gonna fold it over and then here, we're gonna tape it down. Look at that. I tape it down right over there. Now both sides of it are taped and I can take this and I can bend it back where I want it. Put that one right about there. See, so it's standing up like a shark. Doom, 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 doom. So we have two more. That means we're not going to put it on the other side. We want to divide it up into third, San Fancy E. So we're going to put one over yeah, a little ways over. Let's get another piece of tape. Put it onto the short side that we did. 
Now, let's see. You know what? I'm going to put that tape right about here. It's pretty close. It has just a little line in between. Oh, uh, this one's loose. Remember, we need to tape the other side too. So fold it back and get another piece of tape. Once you've got that, whoa, let's just ignore this. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, sorry about that everybody. Let's go back. We've got tape on the other side now. It looks like that. Two of them are kind of on the top. That means we've got room for our third one to go right here on the bottom. Let's do another one. Take one piece of tape and put it on the short side. Put it on the short side and try to find the middle of those two and get it so it stands up in there. There, that's nice. Now I just need a Where'd my tape go? Oh, that's right. I used the tape up there. So if you use tape to fill in your holes, you might not have any left. That's okay. Go get some more. Let's take that one, fold it over, and tape down the white side. Right there. Tape down the white side. And fold it back. Ooh. See that? That's looking nice. Now, you might have some extra tape at the top like that. If you want to make it really nice, you can take your time and cut off that extra tape so it looks real pretty. Okay, your rocket's all ready to go. You can try it out with your straight straw. I like my bench straw better. Put it inside your bench straw. I don't like to put it all the way to the bottom. Sometimes they work, but if it's a little bit tight, it may not. Put it closer to the end, line it up, and whoa, make yourself a nice flyer. Boys and girls, try lots of different ideas at home. You can use thin paper, thick paper, long paper, short paper, blue paper, red paper, any paper you want. Try different ones and see what works the best. Also, you can try different fin designs. What's the best kind of fin? And you can make a different head for it. You can try to make a flat head, a pointy head, or even make an ice cream cone and really make it look like a rocket. I hope you guys are all having a great time making your straw rockets at home. Make a video and send it to us. We'd love to see what kind of ideas you come up with. I'm Dr. Sparks, and now you know.